Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Order of Battle World War 2 where I'm playing the Red Star DLC. We're in the second mission which is the Japanese attack on the Galkin Gaul uh, river defenses here. I, uh, I'm bringing in some reinforcements against these heavy tanks. Which all seem to be uh, packed with uh, generals. Now, I'm doing this in order to make sure that these guys don't regain their efficiency. So by attacking them, at least make sure they will stay at zero efficiency and they can do a whole lot else. Now, I'll have to retreat because of these artillery pieces. Um, but I'm still looking to potentially take down... This Japanese bomber. Now this turn I did buy the uh, trucks for the Soviet heavy infantry as well. And now I want to switch up these. And uh, I can't switch up those. Okay, So these will just stay here for now. Um, no, actually they will not because I can put the cavalry in there. Which is much better because it's a non-core unit. I mean, still, it doesn't matter that much if they take damage. Now, I do have these two artillery pieces, which can finally rest. Um, yeah, that's that's for the best here. So, uh, major Japanese attack here again. I'm going to try and dig in here with my forces. Uh, to keep this side of the, the river clean. And then I might bring some other forces over here as well. Because the Japanese attack on this side, it's not done. Um, but at least dealt some significant damage. And then I guess I can get some of these weaker troops out of here as well. This will soak up at least another attack of one of the enemy's troops. And I think because things are like this now, I'm going to get that cavalry out as well. Definitely need the T-26 up there because they will help a bit against those enemy, uh, enemy tanks. And... Yeah, let's get you out of there and repair. I don't see them attacking the BT-7. They're much juicier targets that they could pursue. And I think they would rather go for that. Uh, yeah, th those air recons. Not super useful. Okay, well, if they keep staying like this, I might be able to take this back whenever I d well please. That's another turn. Do hope to finish this mission in uh, this episode here. Mm, depends mostly upon the speed of the AI, which is always the deciding factor when it comes to speed. Okay, so you can just finish this off, I think. Great. And yeah, these heavies are still out there, but there will be no match for these heavies. So ultimately, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, the only real attack that's still going on is around here. Um, it's a pretty tough attack because they have many tanks. But... And the enemy is not very bright, so that does work in my favor.
You know, I'm gonna go for the recon, huh? Another bomber. Wow. Because this is a long range artillery, if I put it here, it might actually be able to strike both here and there. And since I don't really need to use it this turn, I can already move it. I think that should work quite well. And I'll start focusing on that heavy uh, artillery there. Uh, because finally I have the uh, opportunity to. I'm, I'm quite happy about that. Meanwhile, this guy, or this tank, will remain paralyzed as long as I keep using my bombs there. And I might actually... Let's see... If I'm very lucky... Well, I'm not gonna attack these. They're at very low efficiency now. They as well. Okay, so I'm better off just repairing the BT, just getting this guy up out there again, make sure that they'll sacrifice it. And meanwhile, yeah, most of these guys are already fine. I think maybe getting the recon out is a good idea before they actually start attacking that. I mean, I do have my infantry here, which looks fine. And I'll get more units in there to sacrifice, most of all. Um, I don't really expect too much to happen down here anymore. At least, it hasn't shown itself to, to do that. And I can always use the rest of my forces to hurry to those guys there. All right, only air forces left. What? Uh, yeah, they're, they're fine. Okay, so they have that bomber, I guess. It's also gives them a bit of experience, which is not bad. I'm getting relatively little. But it's some, and it keeps the bombers at bay. Probably even attacking. Wow. Well, these guys will lose their conscripts, but that's about it.
Again, it's very predictable that the AI tries to indeed destroy that unit. It's very effective to <laughs> soak up a lot of damage from the enemy units uh, because this really does not help them even the tiniest bit. Guess it's time to move forward a bit. Now, I'm hoping by placing this BA-20 here that these guys will cross, try to cross the river and then try to attack there. That might or might not happen. I'm not too sure. Uh, but I'm hoping it will. And I'm also putting these guys in there to sacrifice themselves again, soak up a bit more damage. Seems like I can send these back for repairs, and yeah, I might just well just go for it here. I don't think the AI has a whole lot of fight in them anymore, and um, I think quite a leisure to attack anything I please over here. And get some more experience on the BT. Wouldn't be half bad. And forces them to repair a bit more. Okay. Good. And then... Oh, that's a new unit. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess I can handle that. 
I have to be careful here though. Let's cut these off. Hmm. I think it's a pretty high chance that these troops will go here and attack them. Uh, that is what I hope at the very least. And if I can get them to accomplish this, then I'll be most pleased. Seems like these guys aren't able to push through. This is fine. I will still attack. And these are effectively destroyed now. This thing can't do damage anymore, so this flank is secure. And we still have a few of the infantry down here. Um, these guys didn't exactly do what I predicted, but they're now down to one efficiency. So attacking them here should put them to zero, meaning they're effectively out of commission. Should have attacked them with artillery first. I'm just gonna move here for now and I'm actually gonna see whether I can get one of these other units in there. Um, might even try to move the artillery down just to see whether I really need to do that in order to secure that bridge later on. Because I might. That's still just attack for now. Okay, nice. There. Even repairing. <clears throat> sure. That's fine. Surprised that many of these they're not repairing at the moment. It means they might indeed finally have run out of uh, requisition points, which would be very good. They probably still get an amount per turn, so that each turn they can still repair some. But uh, yeah, because they're always repairing this unit. It seems like, anyhow.
Again, I'm going to attack here to avoid the, those artillery attacks. Probably best to, to stay out of their way. One thing uh, that I will do here, though, is launch some limited counter-offenses in order to make sure... that the enemy does not have a whole lot of strength left. Ooh, they could still attack from all the way up there? Ooh. Oh yeah, that's four indeed. Might have just as well attacked the tanks because they might go after me now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Sure. That's not gonna be much of a problem. And sure enough, Unfortunately, again, I, I can't attack him there, but I will definitely go here. Finish off another infantry. There we go, and yeah, I'll just just wait on that. Kind of curious and need to see what they will do, whether they're gonna attack or not. Okay, so now 
and they're bringing in some new troops in order to to take this I'm gonna have to cross the river at least in order to hold that maybe this wasn't such a great idea they also seem to be all in on holding it this way then um, I guess okay and these guys might also be too late We'll see. I don't need to take it now. So, uh, I think... Okay, it's only good that I did not... go too far here um, <laughs> they can destroy that for all I care uh, the most important thing for me will be to hold this now Let's get you back up there so they can actually shell them. Just felt like doing that. And that's it. I really hope the tank will also go for this infantry. That that's my uh, my hope here. All right, forgot the scout plane. Well, certainly messed that one up. My only my real hope is that these guys won't move upon this. Okay, that's fine too. Plenty of artillery to back this up. These guys are not really an issue. Exactly. It's kind of weird that they say do that for 14 turns while technically I'm, I'm already done doing that stuff, but. Alright, so I do have plenty of forces around here that might also indeed sacrifice themselves to hold that. Hmm. No. Still gonna go for regular replacements.
these guys will have to repair and I did have a pair of fighters one of them can destroy this bomber and you are gonna go up unfortunately barely not enough go after him but they're very close to destroying it anyhow all right last Japanese attack although apparently it's already a major victory your operation successfully stopped the Japanese onslaught. With further reinforcements scheduled to arrive soon, we will we'll finally be able to mount a determined counter strike. All right. No thanks. Uh, this time we did get four new specialization points, so I, I guess it's just a bug for the previous mission. I'm going to check that out in a bit, but uh, okay. Next up will be... Galkengal again, Zhukov Strike, I guess that's our counter-offensive. As for specializations, we now have seven points. Um, one land, one air CP, two land command points, and one air command. I mean, it's reasonable, also reasonable. I don't really like these schools that much. They're not much useful. Deploying more troops is... Like, for now, the ones that I really... Or the, the ones that I mostly want to go for is for Arctic Convoy. Guards Infantry, even though I have no clue what that does. Um, forced Labor. Drop Tank. Molotov Ripper Drop Act. And war, and female, war Economy and Female Factory Labor. Um... Because I can get experience just fine. And scrambling is also pretty good. War economy is going to be the first one I'm going to take then. Alright. Uh, I will see you on the next mission. Which will be, be again, I guess, the Battle for Galgal. This time it's called Zhukov Strike. So we'll be counter the Japanese August 939. Thanks for watching. Take care. And see you all next time. Bye-bye.